All right, for our next workflow, uh, we're going to take a look at a merge uh, example. Um, and basically what this is, it's we're going to listen uh, for the uh, trigger event of push. So anytime there's a webhook event of code being pushed to your repository, uh, we would run this workflow. And the idea here is anytime code is pushed or merged into your main branch, one of the things you might want to do is tag your code and possibly release a new version of your code. So if it's like an NPM package, uh, you could bundle up a new version, push it up to the NPM repo, uh, NPM repository, and then it would be available for everyone to download and consume. Uh, so in our particular example, what we're going to do is we're going to target our main branch. So anytime there's code pushed to this branch, we're going to go ahead and take our TypeScript project example, and we're going to release a new version of our project. And we're going to go ahead and tag our code uh, with that new version. And so uh, with our node projects, one of the things we have in here is we have a version number on our package JSON. And so when we use when we version um, so we run this particular npm command what it'll do is it'll bump up our version number um, so it'll go ahead and patch it and do like a six a seven so on and so forth as we keep adding new versions and once we do that we're going to go ahead and tag our commit and then that way we have a release on github a github tag um, that'll reference this particular commit uh, so to get started what we'll do is we're going to add a new workflow um, so we're going to come up to our workflows folder. I'm just going to call it merge YAML. And to get us started, we're just going to go ahead and copy our pull request example. Let's go ahead and update the name of our workflow. Uh, it's a new merge example. Uh, and we're also going to update our job name. Uh, let's call this merge. All right, and then so next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and update our triggers. Uh, so instead of running on pull requests, we're going to go ahead and run on push. And so, uh, like, like I said, push is the event that will, uh, push is the GitHub event that will fire when new code a new commit is added to your uh, repository. So anytime we push new code up to uh, your repo. Uh, so this um, will be anytime we push code directly to our branch. Uh, this will be anytime we merge a pull request because a new commit will be created to push the code into that branch. Um, and that's when this event will fire. Uh, so for example, uh, we're still going to target our main branch. So anytime there's new code introduced here, this workflow will run. Um, and as long as it's code tied to the TypeScript project uh, subfolder. Then for the most part, uh, m the rest of our steps will remain the same. Uh, same. Uh, so we're going to check out the repo, set up node, run yarn, uh, install our dependencies, do our lint, our build, and our test. And then that way, if something failed here, or for some reason the CI and the pull request didn't run, these steps will catch that code. And then what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a few new steps. And so we're going to go ahead and run our version command to go ahead and bump the version on our project. Uh, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to do run, do yarn version, and we're just going to do a patch uh, for what we're targeting. And then we're going to go ahead and provide a message. Uh, so this will be the commit message uh, for when we uh, add this change. Uh, so I'm just going to do bump version to percent s. And what that'll do is it'll add uh, the version number dynamically uh, when the patch command runs as part of the output. So then when we run this patch command, what it's going to do, uh, like I said, it's going to create a new uh, change. It's going to add it and commit it to our local branch. And so what we need to do now is we need to take this and push it up to GitHub. Uh, so to do that, we'll do a get push. So it's going to push our local changes um, from the CI. And then we want to go ahead and also push our tags. And so part of the version command is it'll go ahead and automatically create our git tag for a particular commit. So we're just going to go ahead and do git push follow tags. All right. Uh, so if we take a look at our package JSON in our TypeScript project folder real quick. When we run the yarn version command, uh, there's a few things that's going to happen. The first thing is a yarn version is going to bump our version number mm -hmm. depending on the 
properties that we pass to it, so the configuration. Uh, so we only target a patch. So what that'll do is it's going to bump this 5 to a 6. And then once that's done, it's also going to go ahead and run our version script. Uh, so this is not mandatory, but if you have it, Yarn version will go ahead and run this and then run that command for us. And so in our example here, what we're doing is we're using auto change log to create a change log for us. And then we're going to go ahead and add that as part of our commit. And so we just need to go ahead and push those changes uh, that are local on the CI uh, to uh, GitHub. And the last thing we need to do is we need to actually configure Git to uh, provide a user uh, that will be doing the uh, pushing of the code here. Uh, so to do that, we just need to run git config. So we do run, we'll do git config, we're going to do user.email. Uh, so I'm just going to use my email. Uh, you want to replace this with yours. And then we want to go ahead and just provide the username. So we're going to do run git config the user.name and we're just going to do at github ci all right and so uh, for the past we don't provide anything because one of the things that's available to our ci process is a, a github token that's tied to the scope of this workflow and that token will have permissions to push to this repository as long as there's no uh get protection if there's no protection on the branches. Uh, so currently we don't have that set up, so we go ahead and push directly to the branch. All right, and before we push our code, we need to make one more change. Uh, we actually need to provide a value uh, for our node version. Uh, so by default, our setup node action, if it does not find a node version specified here, it'll fall back to using the default one from the path in the container that's running. And generally this will be the node uh, LTS version, uh, which happens to be node 16 at this time. Uh, but it's always best practice to go ahead and provide this version. So we're always running the version of node that we're expecting. Uh, so what we'll do, let's pop open our pull request YAML. Let's just copy that value and we will add it to our configuration. We'll save and we'll go ahead and push our changes and we can test our code. All right, so if we come to our uh, repo, uh, what we'll want to do is we're going to want to trigger our workflow. And so to do that, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come into our TypeScript project. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and update our README. And so I'm just going to uh, take away a few of these empty new lines and only the commit message. I'm going to commit directly to our main branch. And so by doing that, this should fire off the event uh, for uh, the push event. And so now if we come to our actions, we should see that our workflow has been triggered. Um, so we updated our readme. And so now our merge process is running. So we can go ahead and take a look at the changes and make sure everything uh, ran correctly. All right, so now that workflow is completed, it should be successful. Uh, so we're going to take a look at our merge workflow. We'll see it runs all the commands from our one before uh, with our new uh, steps. Uh, so we configure our GitHub user and username. We run our patch command. Uh, so in this particular workflow, uh, my version was at eight, and so we got bumped to nine. And then it ran my version command, uh, so updated my change log, and then went ahead and pushed my changes and it went ahead and pushed my tags. So if I look at my GitHub tags, I should see a version 00.9. Uh, so that'll be one thing to keep in mind is whatever version your package JSON is at, it should be at the next version. So if I go to code, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at the commits. And so you see right here in the commits, uh, we went ahead and bumped version to nine. And if I take a look, You'll see here, this is the auto change log that I mentioned. It went ahead and added this change as well. And then in the package JSON, it bumped my version. And then if I go into my tags, you'll see we have the version 00.9 uh, pointing to that particular commit.